Hi, this is Chris from A&L Auto Sales in Punxsutawney, 814-938-6780. Today I'm going to show you the 2002 Ford Excursion Limited that we have here. Uh, let's take a walk around the vehicle. Okay, there's the walk around. Um, I'll point out here what I see. Tread depth on the tires. Front shocks were recently replaced. Body wise, this thing's in really nice shape for an O2. Some rear tires. The tires are probably half tread, I would imagine, all the way around, at least half tread. It does have a class three receiver hitch in the back with a seven prong plug. The tires are 16 inch, has polished aluminum wheels. Did notice washing it a little bit of discoloration starting on the bottom of that door. Nothing major, but something I wanted to point out to you. Body's straight, there's no major dings or dents in the vehicle. Um, let's go ahead and we'll get the hood opened up. Go ahead and start the vehicle up while we're in here. This is the 6.8 liter V10 engine. Aftermarket cold air intake on it. It was on the vehicle when we bought it. Not certain if it's a can in or not. Motor sounds really nice in this. Um, looks like someone may have put aftermarket coils in it. Those look like Excel coils, but they do they don't have a tag on them, so I'm not certain. Let's move on to the inside of the vehicle. Um, excuse the condition of it. We didn't have a chance to really detail it. It's just nasty here. It's about zero degrees today. Driver's side floor. We'll go through and get this vehicle cleaned up if it sells. So I just wanted to show you the way it is now so you can see. We can go through and do the rugs in it and get the interior nice and pretty. Leather seats are nice, no rips. Got the uh, media controls in the back. As well as flip down DVD player in the rear. Separate rear climate controls. Back seat here folds forward. Give you access to your third row. Got the third row seating back there, along with the spare tire. I just replaced these struts on the back hatch about 15 minutes ago. They're brand new. These back doors are fiberglass, so they're nice and light. There's a mat in the back, custom fitted. Wanna haul some stuff without getting the back all tore up. Uh, one thing I did wanna point out, this latch here seems to stick in the up position. You gotta push it back down to get it to latch. This exhaust tone.
rear seat. Front seat, and these are six way power adjustable seats with the heat. Interior got the power windows, power door locks. Um, to move around, we'll take it for a little ride down the road. We can test out the four wheel drive and see how it goes down the street. Time to fire up that seat heater. Dash has the oil pressure gauge, fuel gauge, speedometer, tack, transmission temperature, which is nice when you're towing, and the engine thermostat. Uh, four wheel drive on the fly here, high and low, rear defroster, has the rear backup assist, climate control, AM FM six disc changer, there's an auxiliary power port here, his and hers cup holders, another set down here. Nice wood trim center console with a document clip. That opens up some storage in there. This comes out. Tons of storage down there. Captain's chairs with armrests. We'll start out first with the four wheel drive. That's two wheel drive. We're not going anywhere. Click it into four high. 4x4 four four light lights up on the dash. We're good there. Go to neutral. Switch it over to 4 low. Low range kicks in. I'm spinning a little. There we go. Disengage it. two-wheel mode. Let's take it for a little ride down the street. Transmission shifts nice and smooth. Vehicle rides really nice, handles well. Excuse me one second, I'm gonna buckle up to get that buzzer to go away. Okay. Vehicle brakes straight, doesn't pull. Just go down to the bottom of the hill here and turn around. That's intermittent wipers. I see cruise control. You have a switch for the overdrive, turn it on and off. Uh, seat's starting to warm up. Electric seat heaters in this feel really good on a day like today. five more minutes left on this video <clears throat> what we'll do is I'll run it in the garage and throw it up on the rack and give a shot of the underneath of the vehicle you want to watch the video here if you're coming from Ohio you'd probably get off the interstate in Brookville at exit 78 the Brookville exit Take Route 36 South toward Punxsutawney, 
right before you get punks tawny past these storage sheds here H, H supply on the left Ken McFarland cars the radio station and off to the right this is us here a and auto sales the auto lender phone number is 814-938-6780 All the power windows work, just tried them. Get up on the rack here. Okay, that's it for our ride. Like I said the vehicle does clean up really nice. Uh, the photos that are on the website are actually probably looks a little nicer than it does here. It's freezing cold here today. I just brought this in with the hose and blew the ice off of it, so it's a little dirty from sitting out on the front lot. Uh, we'll have the vehicle cleaned up a little better than it is now. Hopefully the weather gets a little better and won't be all done for nothing. Okay, let's start here on the bottoms of the rockers. There's a little bit of bubbling start that I wanted to show you. Pretty much just right on the um, the pinch welds there. It's still good and solid yet. I'm sure everything's soaked with water under here. Yes, it is. There's the bottom side of the engine. The front's nice and dry. front U joints. You saw the back of the motor here. The oil pan nice and dry. All up around there. Nice and dry on the engine. I don't see any oil at all coming from the engine area. Let's move back to the transmission. Got the E4ODE automatic. Nice and dry. Inner rocker panel is pretty good shape on this vehicle. Most of these Fords, these just get tore up on. These ones are all still intact. No patching or repair work done. There's the lines for the AC. I'm about out of time here on my video. Let's scoot to the back. <clears throat> See the lines on the frame, rear leaf springs, rear differential, nice and dry. Up on the back to the gas tank. Let's look up at the back side of the frame here. Rear spring hangers are in good shape. Rear frame stubs are really nice on it. Usually these vehicles start to go back in here when they go. This is one of the first places all the salt lays up in the spring perch there. And that's pretty much about it. Um, if you need any other videos or any other photos, just give me a holler. Let me know. Um, 814-938-6780 again is our phone number if you have any questions at all um, give us a call or you can email me uh, chris c-h-r-i-s at alautosales.com i'm in from 8 to 4 30 monday through friday